everyone, it's Kidoo and it's pajama time. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Dokusei figure. Please ignore this weird filming setup again. I'm still filming on my iPad because my phone is not working still. Um, and also, I got a new desk, so this is a different angle because I'm still trying to figure out how to make filming this with this new desk setup because it's a corner desk and I had a specific setup before and it won't work anymore. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out that still. But we're gonna open this on up. This is the, um, not really bust, because I think it's like waist up figure of, I don't even know what, this is a lot smaller than I had actually expected. This might fit in my room now. It is their kind of wedding thing, hard to explain. So here's the front of the box. I got size 9, which I think is equal sort of to a size 5 here in North America, I think. Um, I have quite small fingers, so I have like, I think a 5.5 or a size 5. So hopefully the rings will fit me. Not that I plan on wearing them anyways, but it's just nice to know that you have a size that would fit. So yeah, these, these are the figures here. They're kind of like a waist up. They have the ribbon attached to their arms, and then they have the rings that hang off their fingers. I believe the rings are engraved and everything as well, as you can see here. We're going to open that on up, but in a moment we're going to open this up first, which is the bonus um, that comes with the figures if you order them from Good Smell Company. That's nice, it comes in a little envelope and even has... So it has this picture of both the rings in boxes, very pretty. Then we have this one here, oh and on the back of them it just shows like it's a postcard. This is the one that I really wanted. This one's so pretty. And I believe that's it, yeah. Now let us open up the actual figure box. I've got some instructions showing how to put on Saijo's glasses and whatnot. And this is how they are packaged like so oh and the rings must be in here okay so i will pull those out first that took me a while to get off because they have little tabs on each corner that you have to pull off first so that this is what the box looks like it's a little uneven but it is very sparkly Anyways, let us open it up. It's upside down. Let's open it up this way. So these are the rings inside, and this is what the inside of the box looks like. So we got the silver ring and the gold ring for both the characters. One is rounded, one is like flat, if you can see. This one has an edge to it. So the silver ring is there's nothing super, super fancy about it on the outside. It's just a silver ring. The outside is matte. It's not glossy. Um, the sides are glossy, which I feel bad that I'm touching because now they're fingerprinty. But I mean, I'll have to get them out at some point anyways. But on the inside of the ring, which is going to be impossible to show, it says one of the characters' names with a little diamond. I don't know if it's real. I probably, it's probably not. But this figure is so fucking expensive, it should be. If somebody knows whether it's real or not, you can totally tell me. Um, it's really hard to see again, but it's like right here's the little diamond and then that and then the gold ring itself doesn't have a gem or anything. It just is a glossy rounded outside gold ring with the other character's name. Or sorry, it's both of their names. 
engraved on the inside, which you can kind of see there. Can't really see, of course, because this video camera is not going to be able to film that. But these are the two of them together. As you can see, the silver one is flat and a lot thicker. And then the gold one is round and more elegant-like. I guess now's the moment of truth to figure out if they fit or not. Oh yeah, they fit me. Okay. So it is about the right size. The silver one is super pretty too. But on this hand, they fit better um, on my left or my right hand actually than they fit on my right hand, left hand. I have a bigger knuckle on this hand, I think. But anyways, those are really nice. Let's get these guys out. Here is how he looks. They're super stylized to kind of match the art style of the manga. He looks super high, but it's adorable. Oh, you can even see his belly button. <laughs> but so here is how he looks. His tie is very flimsy. Concerns me a teeny bit. Now we will get you out. I guess they literally just sit on the thing like this. They don't have a base or anything like that. Um, and the thing shows how to put their ribbon on as well with the instructions that it comes with. Uh, it looks like it comes with a ton of bonus glasses or extra glasses just in case. Mm, that concerns me a little bit. I'm like, does that mean they're going to break really easily or what? But I guess we'll find out. Let's get the ribbon out. I believe the ribbon just kind of slots in to it. They have a little notch on the bottom which is like extremely hard to see because this lighting sucks and this camera sucks. Glasses are just taped underneath the plastic case here and they come in... Oh these are metal! Interesting. So the glasses here it's actually like a metal frame and the the frames themselves are actually like a metal I believe. Um, wow. Comes with five pairs. It's a lot more than you'd ever think you'd need, but I'm wondering if that's just in case they break or something while you're making them. So I finally got off one pair of glasses. It's actually fairly hard to break off the metal because it's on there pretty um, tight. Like you can tell there's a little notch so you're supposed to be able to tear it off. Um, but it made it a little more difficult than I would have liked. <laughs> But I got them all finally. They're super easy to bend the wrong way though, so be really careful if you're doing this. Okay, so you have to bend them 90 degrees down. I don't know where I'm pointing. 90 degrees down this way at a specific point here. Um, and then you also have to bend in the tiny nose pieces. You have to bend them sideways so they sit on his nose. That is crazy that they make you do that. Oh my goodness. I wonder why they went with a metal piece instead of just having like plastic glasses packaged in there so you could just slip them on his face. That seems like that'd be a lot easier. Anyways, I've bent both of the sides now at 90 degrees, so we'll see how the middle pieces go because this is very tiny, as you can see, extremely tiny. Normal glasses, generally the nose pieces are turned inward, um, at least in my experience, but for some reason they ask you to turn them outward so that they stick out a bit. If you can kind of see. Um, that is what it says. Which is a tiny bizarre to me. So that the nose pieces point out. But that's what it says. I am actually pretty happy that they gave you extra pairs in case you fuck this up. <laughs> so I'm just going to put them on him now. I think that's as good as I'm going to get them. If I'm going to be honest. Um, it actually fits a little better when you... In my opinion, if I don't bend the um, nose piece on the inside, because when I bend the nose piece on the inside, it ends up sitting kind of funny on his nose. At least they're on. Um, not a fan of the fact that they are metal, because they you can feel it like scrape across the side of his face when you're putting them on, and that is not my jam at all. Uh, bothers me a lot. But I find it better when they're not so bent out like it shows. I don't even think I have them bent out, at, um, I have them bent out like the slightest amount um, to fit his face. 
which the camera will never focus on him because that's just the way it is. But at least his glasses are on now. That took way too long, I hate to admit. Um, I mean, it looks nice with the metal frames, but they could have done a nice effect with a plastic, and I feel like it would be less likely to damage him, less hassle to build, and just in general might have been a better idea than the metal frames. I get what they were going for because it does have that metallic effect because he does have just like simple metal frames in the manga and in the anime, but yeah, would have preferred if it was not that because that was a huge pain in the ass. I'm gonna put the ribbon on now. Um, believe there is a little open hole. Okay, so unfortunately, um, he has a bit of a defect in mine. The hole that the ribbon is supposed to go into is too small. Um, it won't fit either side of this ribbon, and unfortunately his side of the ribbon is also thicker on the end than Saijo's. So Saijo's side fits fine in his, in his spot. Fits fine. Um, but the other side of it doesn't fit in there, because I was just comparing sizes. So this one is, like, too thick to fit I guess it kind of fits, but, like, it doesn't really. It's just kind of holding itself there. Um, but that one is kind of okay. But his um, slot here to put the ribbon is too too tight, so I can't put... It, it just doesn't stay at any angle. And even the smaller part of the ribbon, which fits in his but doesn't quite fit the thicker end... Um, doesn't even fit in there so I have to contact Good Smell Company and see what they will do for that um so I guess the rest half of this video will have to wait until I get a response back from them and then I'll just chop it on to the end of this video I apologize I'll be back okay so this is gonna be a tad different than what I normally do for like an unboxing and a closer look um I apologize if I'm kind of quiet I'm filming at like 4 a.m people are sleeping. Uh, yeah, so I don't remember what I said about these figures in the last video, um, or the last video in the first half of this video. Uh, I got these a long time ago. I needed to get him replaced and the, um, ribbon replaced. They are, they fit now. It's all good. Um, Good Smell Company sent me, uh, this new part, this new him, um, and a new ribbon, so now it actually fits in both the slots, and they sit like this nicely, um, because, yeah, they weren't fitting before. The original one, I not only complained about the fact that the hole did not fit the ribbon in him, um, his hair is also just, like, super muddy and, like, kind of brown and not really, like, yellow, um, because in the art, his hair is very yellow, so I did complain about that while I talked about the the string or whatever so they did send me one that seems to have a bit more of a yellow tint to his hair um he's very not balanced as you can see like his is quite a bit more yellow um it's really not a crazy difference it actually looks more different in the camera which is interesting but yeah his hair is noticeably more yellow especially from the back you can see the difference in the hair color here so it is very nice of them to send me a replacement. Again, this is from Good Smell Company directly. Um, and when I had the issue, I just emailed them about it and they replaced the part for me. Uh, but yeah, so he looks a lot nicer versus him. The hole now fits the ribbon, so that is good. I'm going to move him out of the way and I will show you a quick closer look. It's just been so long and I don't know how to end that last video. <laughs> so I'm just going to end it with the closer look of these two. Um, I apologize for not quite finishing that video, but I had to order in the new pieces before I could actually set them up anyways. So here's how the rings look. They were displayed on the picture of the box with... Um, him with the gold and him with the silver and I don't know if I showed it in the last video but this silver ring actually has like a uh like a fake diamond or a diamond or whatever the hell it is I really doubt it's a real diamond but you know like probably cubic zirconia or some shit or like just super fake I don't know but yeah that's there on the inside the gold one is a little more plain I kind of prefer the silver one it has this matte outer layer on it as you can see 
Um, the inside is glossy where the diamond is and both of them are etched with each other's names. Uh, so that's really cute. The gold one has a more rounded, a rounded cut to it. Cut? Is that how you say it? <laughs> more rounded shape? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that one's really pretty as well. I'm more into silver jewelry myself though. Not that I would wear these, but they do fit. So there is that. Um, here we will get a little closer so you can see his face. Um, I don't know if I explained it in the last video, but literally setting up his glasses made me want to die. <laughs> I think I might have explained it, but trying to bend the metal glasses properly was such a pain. He came with multiple pairs that you could make for him. So that's nice if you fuck up on one of them, at least you have uh, the opportunity to change it. So I think my main complaint about these guys is that they are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be, especially for their price. I guess the price is more for the rings than it is for the figures, because um, they are a lot smaller than I, th I thought, especially being busts. Uh, I thought they were going to be a lot larger, like especially for the price. I don't know why I assume that, because they don't really have like a proper scale. I mean, I'm sure they have measurements on the website, and I just didn't read them. But yeah, so his glasses, just the metal. Um... They're a bit smaller than I thought. Of course, their faces try to match the art style a bit, which I like that they attempted it. Um, it doesn't work fully. I still enjoy the way they look, but it doesn't work quite as well as it maybe could have. I'm not sure. Um, and like I said about his hair not being super yellow, like if you're gonna try to copy the art of the manga, um, definitely I feel like the paint job should be a little more vibrant on his hair because the show and the manga just have, like, he's, he's way more vibrant and he's more vibrant as a character. So it makes me a little sad that they wouldn't, um, make his hair brighter. Although in the camera, literally it looks a lot more yellow than it does in person. And then they have their ties and little belt buckles and the buttonholes. And like you can see how their hands are sculpted. I do enjoy the sculpt though. And I like the way, the way um, please don't kill me if I get their names wrong. I literally always know them. And then the moment I film a video, it seems I forget them. Uh, Kusakabe, I'm pretty sure is him. Um, I like the way his hair is sculpted. It's really nice and really like wavy and really cute. This is the backs of their outfits. His shirt is, of course, untucked and wavy, much like his personality. <laughs> um, we have the back of his head, and we've got his shirt all nice and tucked in. And you can see the way his tie is, and the way their hands are sculpted. Um, yeah, no, the ribbon thing is super irritating, the fact that it didn't fit. Um, I should have checked earlier when I first received the replacements, but I was in a weird place, so I just didn't really open them. <laughs> I never checked to see if it fit, thank goodness it does, because I don't think I could get a second replacement if it didn't. Um, his hand is kind of hovering over his side there, probably just the way the sculpt was and, like, not being able to have any paint transfer or whatever. Um... I love the little detail having the their elbows be like a little bit more red, which I find super cute. And like the certain parts of their hands, like their fingers and their wrist and stuff. Like I, I enjoy that paint job quite a bit. Um, but yeah, as you can see where the yellow ribbon is a separate like connected piece and it connects in there and in there. Um, like up there, if you can kind of see. Yeah, so that was where it wouldn't fit it wouldn't fit in in his spot because that hole is actually so i'm trying to get it to focus that hole is actually like really small you can see it's almost like blocked off um it looks like the hole wasn't fully cut out so i couldn't fit the ribbon in at all so i'm glad that he now works and i can actually display them the way they were because i spent a lot of money on them and it's really dumb that i wasn't able to display them until now one tiny extra thing I forgot to mention, um, I already put the figures away, so I'm just adding this in super quick before I end this video. Um, the ribbons themselves make it really hard to move the figures around because there is no actual base, right? Like the figures themselves just sit like this. So with the ribbon, you, I recommend not attaching it until you have them 
where you're going to display them because the moment you attach it, if you try to pick them up and move the two of them, you have to do it either with a flat surface underneath them so they stay the same distance apart or like somehow holding them both flat on one hand, which I would not recommend. Um, my hands aren't big enough anyways, but yeah, because if you do that, every time you carry them away, they'll like come apart where the ribbon is attached. So don't do that. Anyways, continue well, I on. I that at this. Um, I will link all of my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links so you can take a look through those. Um, if you buy anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you so much to those of you who have done it before. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye!